Good morning, everybody. It's great to see each and every one of you. The weather's beautiful outside, isn't it? Well, I'm going to talk this morning. We're going to get him to share, and we're going to talk about Ricky, the rock who couldn't roll. And I've got a copy of the book up here for anyone who's young or young at heart who wants to take a look at the book. So, um, to the kids, school's back in session, huh? Yeah, this is a good time to uh, reunite with old friends, make new friends, meet a new teacher, a lot of fun. It's better than sitting at home on your computer, like you did last year, huh? Okay, so let me tell you a story about Ricky the Rock who couldn't roll. This is a story that Emma's teacher read to her. Well, over the lake and on the grassy hill, the rocks loved to play. Stu was the smart one, Parker was the clown, Gabby was the sassy one, and Maya was a little giggly. They were all different in their own way, but the one thing they had in common was they all rolled. That is to say, everybody but Ricky, because Ricky was flat on one side. The other rollers were sure that they could solve Ricky's problem, so they went to work. Um, Marvin the boulder tried pushing Ricky all the way up to the top of the hill and just shutting him down. But all Ricky would do was slide. Next they tried covering him with all these little bouncy balls with lots of sticky glue. But Ricky didn't roll. He bounced. But did those little rocks get up? Absolutely not. They kept on trying and trying until one day an idea popped into their heads. They decided that they would take mud and put it on Ricky's flat side. And they smoothed the mud and molded the mud and let it dry until all of a sudden Ricky was round. Now Ricky can roll. What's the importance of this story that Emma wants to share? The importance of this story is that now that school is back in session, you're going to run into kids who are different. And they're going to be different for different reasons. Maybe they'll talk a little funny. Maybe they'll be in a wheelchair or walk with crutches. I don't know what it might be. But God teaches us that we are to love everybody. God also teaches us that we are beautifully and wonderfully made. And that's a scripture that Emma especially likes, knowing that not just she, but everyone is beautifully and, and wonderfully made, and God wants us to love everybody and to be a friend to everybody. Let us pray. Dear God, how awesome it is that you have created such a beautiful world. We know that we are just like the flowers in the fields, a vast assortment of colors, sizes, and shapes. We also know that we, were, we are all your children. Thank you, God, for your love. Amen. Thank you very much, Pat. And, uh, it must feel a little different for you not to get back into that routine. 